Good morning, students. I hope you all had a great holiday. Um, I'm talking to you from this video because I'm not going to be in class during the first week of classes. I'm going to the Scripps Howard Entrepreneurial Institute in um, at Arizona State in Phoenix, Arizona, where I'm going to meet with some of the top um, media instructors and researchers uh, in the United States and we're going to talk about ways to um, integrate entrepreneurship and new technologies into the journalism curriculum, journalism and communications curriculum. So when I come back you guys will be the direct beneficiary of um, all the amazing things I'm going to learn particularly in the second half of the semester. Um, so let me step back one more one more step. This is Digital Publishing Workshop. Um, our class is going to be divided into two sections. The first section before spring break, we're going to learn how to code. Um, we're going to learn HTML5, CSS3. We're going to learn the foundation of JavaScript, which is one of the main programming languages on the internet. And then we're going to learn some jQuery. Uh, jQuery basically is what they call a library of code. What does that mean? It means that all the fun things you might want to do in programming with JavaScript, like fun um, rollover buttons or animations, someone has already written most of the programming code to make this happen um, in, in jQuery. And all you need to know in order to make it work for you is a little bit of the foundations of JavaScript so that you can make the changes. Uh, to make it work for you so you can customize it for your site. Um, so we will learn just enough JavaScript to be able to do that um, and I hope, I believe that this will give you a really firm foundation um, so that you can go forward from what we learn in this class and apply these new skills to journalism, public relations, any kind of web publishing, mobile media development. Um, these skills really are pretty universal at this, at this point and not everybody um, is skilled in them and certainly most communication folks are not skilled in them. Um, I've had several students who have learned the basics of HTML and CSS and a little bit of JavaScript um, who, have, who have secured some really excellent internships and employment opportunities because they had these skills and the other people did not. So let me really encourage you um, to take everything that we're going to learn very seriously because it can sincerely help you um, as you traverse your career. That being said, um, the HTML, CSS, not that difficult. JavaScript a little trickier, but we will be going through step by step. Um, no, I don't assume that anybody has any prior knowledge of um, HTML or JavaScript, so we're all coming in this as beginners. We're going to use something called Code Academy, which is a very famous tutorial system on the web, and they have fantastic step-by-step -step tutorials that you can do at home to learn the material and to hone your skills. And then we will use those skills that we learn to make some HTML pages. So we'll make, a, um, we'll do a layout, um, we'll do a um, photo slideshow, and we'll do a multimedia package, a story with text and images and video integrated within it. Um, so we'll really put our skills to test. The second part of the semester is going to be about mobile application development. So um, someone from the Scripps Howard Institute in Ohio has put together a very comprehensive module on um, teaching mobile development to college students and we're going to use that as the basis for understanding you know, how you put mobile applications together, what platforms are important once you make an app, how you get it out there. Um, and we will work in teams at the end of the semester to come up with an idea for a mobile application, something that could work on a smartphone, on a feature phone, on a tablet, on a um, laptop, possibly on some other kind of mobile device um, for a specific purpose. And so you'll put together a product plan. We'll do a little bit of um, market research. It'll be fun and easy, I promise. And um, a little bit of focus grouping. So you're going to talk to some people who might be your customers and get some feedback about your idea. And then you'll build a little prototype, either with one of the mobile application kits that we'll find on the internet or using your HTML, 
CSS, JavaScript skills, or through a video or through storyboards. We're going to, I'll be flexible about that. So we're going to have a really great semester. I'm sorry I won't be here for the first week, but I'm going to give you a series of assignments that you're going to do. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to log on to Code Academy and uh, set up an account. And then we'll look at um, some of the things. We'll go onto WordPress, onto our class blog, and we'll look at some of the things that, um, that I need you to do before next Tuesday. All right? See you soon.